then we're going to part 4 of Sonic the Hedgehog 3. And now we're going to be playing as only Sonic and doing Mushroom Hill Zone. Because uh, Tails is not in Sonic and Knuckles. So, what do you expect? It's just Sonic. You can play either Sonic or Knuckles, which I am going to be doing Knuckles. And uh, I could do Tails, but like really, he he plays the same level as Sonic, same boss, and the same ending. Really, no difference of Tails, and it'll be kind of a repetitive LP if I did if I did three instead of instead of two. And, you know, really, technically, the second player, to, the second player, and can control Tails, and you are, you're not just only controlling Sonic, you're controlling both Sonic and Tails, so, still technically counts that you're playing as Tails, even technically he's not by himself, but he's with Sonic, but he's with Sonic, so, still kind of counts, I love to do, it's, it's the two duros, so it counts, besides alone, besides, if I just did Sonic alone, and Tails alone, and Knuckles alone, it'd be, it'd be repetitive, so, and everybody knows that. Same thing with Sonic Mania. I'm not I'm not gonna do the same in Sonic Mania when I do that game. I'm not just playing Sonic alone, Tails alone. No, I'm playing Sonic and Tails and Knuckles. Because Knuckles has a... I mean, technically, even though he has a different story... Well, Sonic Mania, he has the same story, but like... The way how in that game is different with him. Aside from Sonic and Tails, they go to just like the normal route. They're pretty much like normal. Knuckles is the hard mode. He's kind of the level design is hard for him. In this game, yeah, both, but different ways. It's the different. It's different how the design is of each character. Speaking of Knuckles, his yellow. His, his spot of his shoes are yellow. I do not get that. It's weird. Speaking of that, um, I don't know what the um, special stages are. I don't know where their location. The only spot I know is is the end of the zone. Is that where the um, enemy is? Or that chicken cluck. That's the only location I know of this game. Period. Everything else I do not know. Now, technically, Sonic Mania. Well, Mushroom Hill. Mushroom Hill Zone is not in Sonic Mania. Kind of shocker. I thought this level was popular. But apparently, no. You know what? You know what stage I, that actually did return from Sonic 2? Oil Ocean. I'm surprised that was. I'm surprised that's in, that's even in Sonic Mania because not too many not too many people really like that level, and I kind of understand that. But it was okay. It was a fun level to me. But like, I'm surprised. Like, why? Wow, wow, it's in Sonic Mania. The first time I heard it was announced. When I when I watched um Kobe play the game, he was in, he was in surprise. He has the same reaction of that. But I sure do miss him. Hopefully someone someday could be the next Commander Marvel Fight Six. I wonder who. It it could be any Sonic YouTuber. Any Sonic YouTuber. All right. There we go. And one more hit, we're done with him. Oh. There we go. So don't expect me to collect any Chaos Emeralds, because, uh, looks like we'll be getting the somewhat normal and bad ending. Yeah, it, it makes that buzzing noise, because I'm playing Ultimate Collection on my PS4. I mean, 3. <laughs> I, wish you, you would put, I wish you could play PS3 games on your PS4, like, put the disc in it, and you could play it. Just like how the Wii U did, because in the Wii U, you could play Wii games on in the Wii U. And that makes sense, but no. Nope. People was like, Sony was like, nope. Not happening. 
I guess people will be too over, over, over will be too happy of that. I haven't really been playing Sonic Mania that often, really, recently, a few months. The only time I actually return to that game when I do an LP, but I was like, aside from that, um, the only levels I may play is Green Hill Zone and Studiopolis and maybe Lava Reef. And uh, that's really it. Oh, also on um, uh, what's that? Wacky Warp Bench. I think that's what's called. Yeah, Wacky Warp Bench. I'm not sure that's it or some other level. It's the final level of Sonic CD. I forgot what it was called. Yep, I forgot. Oh, oh, I forgot. The fire show is so much useful. And I lost it. Damn it. I don't know what one up, but it didn't play because the one up needs to end it before I got the end one. The other one instantly. Let's see what this, one, this looks like. Yes, yeah, this like Sonic one. Yay! All right, we're done here. So I get it. Nothing really too special. Just something. It's randomized, whatever special stages you play. I'm not sure what rings you get by pending, pending what special stage you're playing. I'm not sure. It's a Sonic Mania, they dick that completely. Now, why? I, I remember someone asked me, why am I doing this game instead of Sonic 1 and 2 and CD. Well, simply, simple. Or, there's like my, there's some excuses why I'm playing this over those games. Really, I, I love this, I play this game, even though I haven't played this game, but I prefer, I play this more often than Sonic 1 and 2. Because I really, I really, you know they're good games. Well, I mean, I, I, I mean, I, never really played I haven't really been bleh. I don't even play the original Sonic 1 like that rarely at all even though it's a good game and I I almost beat it like one time until I gave up a lot in the one level I did was a labyrinth zone until I did debug mode to cheat my way to beating it because this game that that original was hard and it was so cheap so I cheat back so, technically I did beat it. Sonic 2, it's kind of the same way. The levels, well, the levels I got used to, but the final boss was... That got me a heck bit trouble, and... I had to use a lot of save data. Not save data, but like, save states. Every time I die, I go to load game, and spawn where I, you know, what I saved at. That was a death egg, and it was the hardest boss in the game as much as Sonic 1's final boss because oh my god could you even imagine if I did those games originally it would be a mess it would literally be a mess and you know I don't know the cheat code of this game or Sonic 2 but I know well I don't know Sonic 1 but I kind of know it you know and I even thought of it at time I thought of it over time after while I was doing Team Sonic, not Team Sonic, but um, Sonic All Stars Racing series. You know, I'm like, you know, I haven't said this on Discord. I'm gonna do a class. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a few classic Sonic games, you know. But I totally changed my mind. I kind of lied that I would. Now I didn't really make the safe few. 
because I was getting kind of hype, but I thought of it, like, you know, nah, I'm not gonna do that. Maybe some other time. So I decided to play the more memorable ones that people really play. People say they love, people say this game's better, Sonic 3 Knuckles and, and a hole is better than Sonic Mania. I don't think I said this before, or maybe I have, but, um, yeah, it was kind of a shocker to me that people love this game than Mania. Which, I love Mania as much. I even liked it Mania than this game, because Mania had more, has, it had better music, the design was good, and the, it had memorable boss fights. And a really catchy theme song you go against the Harbo the Heavies. So good. If you don't think it's good, then something's wrong with you. But... Aside from my, aside from my, um, anyway, continue what I said, what I'm saying. I would do Sonic 1 and 2, but, like, I don't, I really don't play those games that often. I only play Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles, aka, I play Sonic 3 and Knuckles pretty much. So, technically, I do own Sonic 3 and Knuckles, even though I'm not really. So... Let's just say like that. Because I never had a Genesis, and, uh, you know, you can't really blame me. Or you can't blame, oh, I don't know, you can't really blame. Or I don't know, bleh, I don't know how it works. And, you know, you have to understand that I don't have a Genesis at all. Because I was born in 2000, so I never had any of these consoles at the time. I didn't know what video games were, I didn't know who Sonic was. So I pretty much got I pretty much got games that were ports to another. And that's how. Because everybody has played these games and collections and all that. Not a regular doctor not they did most people did not play on the original system. And I was one of those people who played Mega Collection and one of my other like old friends had when they were a kid, they played they had Mega Collection at the time. And or gem, gems collection. I only own Mega Collection now. I I own Ultimate Collection. Even though technically it's not Sonic, it has Sega Genesis game. Other Sega besides Sonic. But every time I return to this game, I'll play Sonic or some other Genesis game that I'm familiar with. Any other game, I'm not. So, but but aside from that. I, I, I found this game to be more motivated, and I, I like I like it more than Sonic 1 and 2. Now, CD, I keep forgetting. You know, I didn't even know Sonic CD is even a thing. I forgot it was a thing back then, and... To me, I feel like that game's forgotten, to me. Sonic CD, to me, is, like, kind of forgotten to people, because they... When you talk about a history of a Sonic game, they forget Sonic CD. And forget about its existence. Because I didn't know what I thought Amy and Metal Sonic first appearance when I first was when I first like was getting to know Sonic. I thought their first appearance was Sonic Heroes. I literally I literally I, I lie to you not. This is kind of off, off track, but you know, but like most of the characters we know, I thought they appeared. I thought they made their debut in Sonic Heroes because I own Sonic Heroes. And those same characters was in Sonic, or Shadow the Hedgehog, and a few I had was in Sonic Riders, like the Babylon. And, as, you know, I knew Shadow, I knew who Shadow was, I knew who Amy was, I knew who, uh, all the characters in Sonic Heroes. Counting his game, Shadow the Hedgehog and Riders, so I have, I have pretty much like, three major Sonic games, or no, I have like, I'm pretty sure I have more than that, but like those are the games I mostly played at my time when I was young. When I had a PS2, but not anymore. If I still own it, then yeah. But Damn I miss Sonic Hero so much. You have no idea how much I miss it. But Yeah, most characters I knew. And you know, I didn't know who Sil I didn't even know who Silver was. So 
obviously no one would know who Silver was. But I, I play this game more often than the, the other games, and you know, CD. I, I I could actually get CD on the PS4. I'm not sure if you can like record it or do a stream on it. I'm not sh technically 100%. I don't know. I, I don't think I never seen anyone stream a game from the PS. Um, what's it called? It's like I forgot. It's it's an app that you can download other games, PS3 games. Or not really play this game three games, but like games that was orig originally from another system, like Sonic Adventure One and Two, and CD and Unleash. Well, Unleash was in the PS2 and Wii, and Generations on the PS3 and all those games. I'm not sure if you can stream them, and uh, you know, I just realized I was talking too much in my head of myself. We're playing this level. <laughs> oh well. We're here, so I mean, this is 16 minutes. Why not move on? Why not play another act? Trust me, I'm not gonna play a third act. Trust me. After this part, I'm not gonna play another third act. I'm just gonna play two for act. Trust me. No worry, because we're going this way quick, because we're not really tightly done with Sonic. We gotta do this. We did. Mushroom Hill, Flying Battery, then San... Aunt Sanopolis, and after this, I'm ending the part, then we'll do Lava Reef, I think, Sanop... Yes, Lava Reef, and, um... Uh, and, uh... Hidden Palace Zone, and, uh, Sky Sanctuary, and, uh, yeah, we'll be done. So, you can say this is, this is part... This is part four. This is not... This is not a complete... This is not a separate Let's Play. If it was, then it'd be kind of stupid if it was, because it wouldn't really feel right if I made this a separate Let's Play. To me. And pretty much everybody would feel the same. It wouldn't feel the same, really. You know what? I may play three acts per part, just to move, just to speed things up a bit. I could like play as Knuckles. Even though he plays the same zones, but the designs differ for him, so... I hope you guys understand why I'm kind of speed running myself ahead of, of doing these levels. I'm, I'm doing them as quick as I can. Screw that. Woo! Yeah, this, this, well, Act 1 was fine, but like, Act 2 of the stage was... I freaking hate the most. Act 2? I actually stopped playing this game for a reason, because Zone Act 2 of Sanopolis was the... I even got lost. You get lost in that level so bad easily, and I kind of stopped playing this when I was a kid. Until I finally realized that, uh, watching the LP, I'm like, watching it, and uh, how they would do it, and I was surprised, like, oh... I was stuck in the sand, um, slide section, and... Or the ghost pop out, and it actually surprised me, like, you know, what I've been doing. So, replayed the game, and what do you know, I figured it out, and I beat it. I was kind of proud of myself. I didn't mean to jump on it, but whatever. I think the part when you're like spinning, you can actually jump, and we're we're near the boss right here. Like we're we're here. <laughs> See, it did take that long, didn't it? It took me like three minutes to get here. Well, to the boss, not to beat up, not to beat the stage. After this, I may play Sonic 3D Blast after Sonic the Hedgehog 3. And Knuckles. And this boss is the Egg Golem. I'm not sure if this is separate. Is this, a, this, this is a different boss? Or is it the same from. Or is it like the same guy that's in Sonic Adventure 2? I'm pretty sure it is. Because, like, it's all rocky, bolty looking. You know, this is what he originally fought in this game, in the Sonic Adventure 1, or 2, 
he was different and he was all bulky and had a different boss strategy and it was a it took place in a sand area I le like a um what do you call it um I don't know like but it was a sand level in Sonic Adventure 2 that you're in a pyramid and this is like a pyramid we're going in and so I'm pretty sure it's the same guy from this game into Adventure 2 they brought him back it's the egg golem and uh kind of interesting <clears throat> I watched it from I watched an LP someone playing this or yeah playing this and uh yeah it was kind of fun y'all may know him it's a video that I did of Sonic Drift 1 and 2 if y'all got if you guys watch that guy Clement J42 he's a great YouTuber We're gonna go this real fast. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not holding back. We're we're gonna do this. Not holding back. Not holding back. Now this part I got stuck in. It was crazy. Okay. All right. Here it comes. There we go. That part I needed. Figure it out. We're in 21 minutes. Jeez. And the boss in this stage is not even that hard. It's easy with Sonic, but like, with Knuckles is kind of tricky. Because he don't have the awesome instant shield that looks like this. It's in Sonic Mania, but it's not technically Sonic's main move. You, you can actually equip it. To, you can actually put it on so you can play the whole game. So you're playing Sonic the Hedgehog 3 again. So you make the bosses like jokes. And you know when I play Sonic Mania, I forget that that's in the game and I play the game with a spin dash, drop dash, because that's useful too. It's not useful for bosses, but it's good for speedrunning. Makes sense. I see even in the um Sonic 1, the uh the, I think that's on the Switch. Yeah, Switch. The Genesis thing. The Genesis collection of the Switch. It only has one Sonic game. It only has Sonic 1, that's it. But I can understand, kind of understand. Because that Sonic 1 is everywhere. Every port. You, you, if you own everywhere worldwide, that game is everywhere. And that's the original game. That's the game, the very first game of Sonic that began the series. That's the very first beginning of the series, Sonic 1. It's crazy to me that they... It's like everywhere. No other Sonic game that we love are there. Not the Sonic 3 and Knuckles gets that much rep. Nowadays. Heck, we what, we didn't even get Sonic 3 and Knuckles in HD, HD or... Yeah, or Gems Collection. But we get Sonic CD instead. And in other Sonic games. Sonic that Sonic the Fighters, Sonic the Hedgehog Fighters, and uh, Sonic R. Which games I have, I have played Sonic the Fighters, but not R. But I could, I could imagine how that game is. When it gets full dark, you may want to, you might want to hurry up because uh, the dark ghosts will attack you when it gets full on dark. I'm not kidding. Now you can actually attack the ghosts, like so. But they're not really a big threat. They're not really annoying. All you do is hit the batting away until you get the switch. I mean, you know what? Actually, I take bad they are. They can really get you. Keep caught you off guard. Oh, and we should be almost there. But I can beat this game no problem, actually. It's just that... No, the thing is... There's this one boss in Death Egg I hate to this day. And I can never f perfectly beat it. It's that one dude that's... A robot, but like, he has spike platforms. Oh my god, that is so annoying. That boss is annoying as hell. 
And it's, it's even in Sonic Mania of all bosses, and they... Fuck. Okay, back when I died at. See, there's something there. Oh. That would be more. No skadoosh. Can't do this way quicker with Sonic. Me? Another one of these. Woo! Skadoosh. And we made it to the boss, and before we go, let's see if we can get, let's see if we can beat this. Problem. Okay. I need that. I missed it, damn it. We need damn it. This is the boss. You hit eight man, hit the center of the Hit. And you get hit? No, just kidding. You can actually kind of clip right through him. Sonic is broken in this boss. But it's kind of slight tricky with Knuckles. So in part 5, I don't know, finale, maybe part 5, we'll be doing Lava Reef and uh, Sky Sanctuary. See you guys then.